the governor of Kogi State, Ahmed Usman Ododo, has approved the appointment of an additional 1,192 aides to his government. Hey, this is political madness. Absolute political madness. How big is Kogi State that you are appointing additional? Not that he's the first two. He has already had some aides that are working for him or uh, aides. Now he's appointing additional 1,192 aides again. Oh boy. How big is Kogi State? Is Kogi State bigger than NNPC? Is Kogi State bigger than major parastatals? That you can have, even his cabinet in the state is bigger than the presidential cabinet. Oh boy. And when we are talking about cutting down the size of governance so as to spend the state's resources judiciously in developing the state, you are appointing all these aids rather than even creating an environment for job, uh, for, for genuine productive employment, you know, allowing businesses to thrive and employing people into places where they can earn salary and still provide, you know, productivity to the state. You are rather piling them up around you this is not this is not right i'm telling you i'm sure this is a way of preparing for 2027 to ensure that before then he would have created these allies almost every corner of the state to mobilize for him to win election this election strategy it is nothing else because this is madness what is the resources of the state that you are creating additional 1,192 ADs. How, how many are the civil servants in the state? The people that are earning salary, both at state level and local government staff, state staff and local government staff. How many are they? Are they even up to 2,000 that you are only you as a government is having these uh, numerous ADs? Huh. God, I beg you. So, Nigerian News reports that the latest development was confirmed in a communique issued Monday by the Secretary to the State Government, Dr. Falashade Ayoade. Hmm. So, the ADs include Yakubu Abdul Hakim, who will serve as the Executive Secretary of the Kogi State Office for Disability, 165 Senior Special Assistant, and 36 Special Assistants. Others on the list approved by the governor are 574 world special assistants and 290 local government special assistants, the statements noted. Oh boy. Ododo has also approved the appointment of Al Haji Ibrahim Abdul Sadiq as the director of protocol for the First Lady's Office alongside other members of the First Lady's uh, retinue. Oh boy. So the governor congratulated all the appointees, emphasizing the importance of dedicating their utmost service to the state and the broader global community. So furthermore, IRD announced that all appointments will be officially effective from September 1, 2024. Earlier, Kogi State Commissioner for Information and Communication, Kinsley Fango, provided insight into the recent appointment of 717 world special assistants by Governor Usman Ododu. Can you imagine? So 717 plus 1,192, that is already 1,000, already almost 2,000 uh, 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 aids. Oh boy. So according to Kinsley Fango, these appointments are part of the governor's strategy to deepen democracy and ensure that governance is uh, participatory, particularly at the grassroots uh, levels. So during a press brief in Lokoja, Fango emphasized that Governor Ododo is committed to empowering the people by selecting special assistants who are deeply connected with the rural communities they serve. So what is the job of the local government chairman and the councillors, the ward councillors? That is the issue. So are you not duplicating the role of the ward councillors? Because already you have the third tier of government, which is the local government chairman and his councillors in their different wards. So what, are, what is their role if you are saying that you are appointing all these people to work with the communities at the grassroots? Hmm, now, wow. Uh, the governor is determined to ensure grassroots participation. Uh, 
okay, to ensure gratis participation in governance. He does not want to be detached from the hopes and aspiration of the grassroots. We have learned from past experiences and we should be able to put these lessons to use, Fango stated. All this was an election strategy. He wants to be sure that he has representation across all the wards of the local governments in the state so that they can have a very strong structure. In fact, he's building a political structure for next election. That is what I see here. So he said in the past, many of the special advisors and senior special assistants that were appointed lived in the state capital and did not relate with the grassroots people. There was a gap between the pulse at the grassroots and the impression of the government. But with this novel appointment, uh, appointment strategy, the people at the grassroots are already jubilating over the commendable inclusive uh, governance. So those appointed are those who sleep and wake up in those wards. They don't live outside of their wards, and they will be the foot soldiers of the government achieving the consolidation agenda of the Ododo administration. Can you imagine? Again, what is the job of the ward councillors? That is the question. So addressing concerns about the potential increase in governance cost due to the high human, high number of appointees, Fangos clarify that the salaries of three ward special assistants are equivalent to what a single senior special assistant would earn. Can you imagine? So how much are you paying them? That is the question. And uh, are you, and uh, don't tell us that this is going to affect the payment of salaries to local government staff and uh, ward staff. That is it. Because the third tier of government must be well paid. Because this is putting more burden on the local government councils of the state that is it so how much do they have to pay salary of the local government staff and at the same time pay salaries of these people or is the state government that is going to pay them or at the end of the day you are going to push them to the local government chairman to pay them i don't understand these people because you can't just be creating offices for for unproductive offices i know that there's need to do government of inclusion and a strategy but all i see is that this is a political strategy a political structure that you're putting in place. People are already reacting. Somebody said this is madness, and I see it through as madness. Uh, somebody said this is very serious. A state governor appointed over 1,000 political thief thief as special aides to uh, to himself, advisor. Now, wow. Similarly, the former Kogi state governor is still being searched for by the EFCC for over 480 billion naira. So with this one, they end up as one and the same, of course. Before um, Yaya Belu supported the uh, Ododo to become governor, if you know that they are one and the same. Uh, somebody say you are a big liar. How is he a big liar? This is what is happening. Eh? Kugi State has entered one chance. By the time all these politicians are paid, the other residents won't have any dividend of democracy and that is true that is true the next thing they're going to tell you is that they're not able to pay salary because there are too many people to pay eh? or they're going to use it as a way of increasing their demand from the federal government allocation every day every month so that they will tell government to increase their allocation that is what i see here and then they will work it from that level huh? these people now wow so thank you for listening. Let's have your comment on what is happening in Kogi State.